is a victory for all women. This is a victory for all ladies that has been at a point in time being abused, raped, and molested. Yeah, you can cry all you want on my channel uh, because I can see um, Faye's followers is um, good, um, good. They have strayed into my channel. So I want to say welcome to you as you stray into this channel. Special thanks to the team that made uh, this victory, the, who made it possible for, for you to be um, going through persecution at this point. Um, they made this happen. I don't know them one on one and I'm not going to mention my link or I'm getting my news. But I want to say thank them. I want to say thank you to them for standing by these ladies, because for you would have been another um, fatoyimbo that will do this kind of a thing. And many other men and pastors out there who take advantage of vulnerable women, ladies who use their position to intimidate, abuse, and you know do a lot of things under the cover of being a pastor, leader, or whatever they call themselves, and they take advantage of people, abuse them, maltreat them, and nobody will fight for these voiceless, vulnerable people. Um, a, some team have stood by these ladies to see this come to pass, and we should say thank you to them. The victory is for them. We don't know if she if is going to go to jail at the end of the day, but it is very likely he is going to end up in jail. But presently, he's being remanded, which shows he is guilty and there is more to be done. Of course, he's going to be given opportunity to defend himself. Um, Bishop Peyi, Peyi, Pele Tiel. Yeah, Pele. So this is another lesson that should be learned. We want our society to be better. We want things to work as it is working in foreign language, I mean, foreign um, developed countries. And you don't want this kind of a thing to happen. You are not ready. Because in foreign country, rape charges are not taken lightly. If anybody doesn't matter who you are, is accused of rape, you can be a president. They will take you to court, and if you are found guilty, they will lock you up. Fe you try to hide under the uh, under politics, what is going on presently in Nigeria. He tried to hide under it, but unfortunately for him, it didn't work because already the case was on ground before the election came up so this thing has got nothing to do with the election stop being sentimental okay stop being emotional stop, stop being tied to these people they are human and flesh they are flesh and blood you don't know them to their closets you only know them because they preach they prophesy they say what you want to hear on the pulpits you don't know them for who they are so allow the court to determine and do their and do their job stop attaching it to politics because i can see some people you know coming under my channel already new faces and they are abusing their mothers and fathers yes is your mother and father you they send message to any abusive comments on my videos is sent back to the parents of the writer not me <laughs> because i don't know you and I'm not talking about you. So whatever you say is going back to your parents. If you have parents at home, you will respect people who ask their channel for talking. And you won't be rude by insulting them. So as I'm thanking the team, I'm bringing out the video, the evidence why your pastor, Bishop Fiji Daniels, was walking into the courtroom. Yeah, even though he was trying to cover up his face. Somebody was able to help us to get his video before he will come out and lie to you again. But of course, he can't even come out. If you don't see your pastor within some days, it's better you go and start fasting and praying. You know he begged you in his last video. In case you have forgotten, this is the video. Hello, friends. The enemy is quick to discredit a credible prophetic voice, whether politically or religiously. All those evils you hear are deceptions from the pit of hell so that people will lose faith in God's vessel. It is not the first of its kind. It is the same old method the enemy uses to silence God's servant and sadly many are quick to fall for it. Hear me. 
righteousness will prevail. The counsel of God over Nigeria stands sure. Prophecies shall not be altered. And every persecution against God's elect will fall to the ground. In the name of Jesus. Keep me in your prayers. Keep Yesterday when Faye had a program, it was telling his members that he may not be around for a while. He used emotional, you know, he played on their emotions and they fell for it. Some of them were with him today in court. Not only, in the, not only that, um, Faye was told when he appeared in court today and he was asked to stand in the dock. He was told to be ready to go and sleep in maximum, kirikiri maximum prison. Yes, you heard me right. To show the level of his offense. Um, the hearing is slated for next month. The proper trial is beginning next month. I won't tell you the dates. It's beginning next month. Not only that, Feyi has more than six, seven, eight, I won't tell you the precise number of people that are testifying against him. His victims. His victims. There is a lot happening, but I'm not going to tell you too much. I've only told you what you need to know until the law finally take his course on Feyi. Feyi has told you to pray for him. You need to pray for Feyi. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully he's not kept away for a long time. He has committed too much. He has committed too much. You know for one person, maybe it's five or ten years they will give for two people and like that, like that. <laughs> and so you need to pray very well. I'm going to leave you to watch the video while he was watching, I mean walking. He's been escorted to Kiri Kiri. Um, his bail condition is so huge. 20 million for two people. Two people with 20 million are to stand as shorty with landed properties in Ikeja that has, that, is paid, that has paid three years tax each. Not only that, they are going to leave their um, passport, international passports. So they gave him a stringent conditions. Um, prayer works. I think you should start praying so that uh, the um, Holy Ghost will go and rescue Feyi and bring him out. Stop crying that it is politics. This has got nothing to do with politics. Did he do it? Did he rape these ladies? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm not going to tell you the number. But trust me, there are, are more than five. And many that you may not even remember are coming to testify against your pastor. Did he do it or did he not do it? Watch when he was going to the jail. Until I come to until I come your way again. I remain yours real talk with Santi Aduni. Kudos to the team who has fought for these ladies. Kudos to I never knew we still have some good human rights organizations in Nigeria. They did a good job. Bravo. They are the MB MVP of this case. Unfortunately, Feyi did it in Lagos. Lagos does not pardon domestic violence or sexual uh, molest, sexual abuse, molestation, and, and like that, rape, blah, blah, blah. Mm -mm. Lagos State doesn't joke with it, unfortunately, for your pastor. So, weep not for your pastor. Go and face your life. Watch the video. Bye.